AERP Mon Wellness Mondays. We are so excited. This is part four of the AARP Wellness Mondays cooking series with Chef Paul. Today, we're gonna to be making some very healthy and yummy turkey burgers. It's Paul's famous turkey burgers. And um, I wanna thank all of you who are joining us today. I wanna to thank those who were with us throughout the whole entire series. And for those who just jumped into a few, you could always catch um, any of the videos that you missed on our webpage at AARP Florida. Um, so, uh, you know, AARP has been looking at ways that we can, you know, support our community during this pandemic. And one of the things amongst the, the several things we're doing is um, how to keep your mind kind of healthy. How do you keep your body healthy uh, with the food you put in and the movement you do and all those things serve us um, as we try to keep ourselves as healthy as possible during this pandemic. So we've been very fortunate to have Chef Paul here um, sharing with us his longtime experience as a chef over 20 years in Miami, um, cooking up some healthy meals. So without further ado, Chef Paul, we're ready to cook, Thank get you. cooking. Thank you. I'm ready. I'm hungry. It's lunchtime over here. Florida. So, so thank you so much. Uh, Wellness Mondays. Um, I'm sad and bittersweet that this is our last episode, but we're going to do some more in the future. And um, let's get started. We're going to do, give me one second. We're going to do um, our, my famous turkey burger. Um, very healthy. I like to do a little bit of tricks um, in there. Um, let's talk ground turkey versus ground meat. Um, super lean, um, high in protein. Uh, less calories than ground beef. Um, it's just overall um, a better, healthy uh, alternative for you. Chef Paul, I'm going to yes. just jump in for a second. We're getting a little bit of an echo on your end. I just want to make sure that um, we have take a moment to see if That's we can right. correct that. So. Folks that are listening and watching, we're just having a temporary break <laughs> for a second just to try to technical difficulties. Let's see. Say something, Chef Paul, so we can hear how you oh, sound. Are we better? That's a little better. All right. All right. So we we're talking ground beef versus um, ground turkey. Higher in um, protein, uh, less calories, um, depending on the type of turkey, whether it's uh, ground um, breast or if it's thigh meat. Uh, breast is always a better alternative um, when you're using this um, for this recipe. So. Let's get started. Um, any questions you have coming in, please ask me. Um, you can always get to my social media at Chef Paul Lucido on Instagram. Um, um, but let's, let's make it first. So, starting with some nice, fresh, organic, uh, lean, 99% uh, ground turkey into a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can always do it by hand in a bowl. I like to just season everything. Um, in the food processor and season it all at once before we make our patties, so then it's easy and there we go. So ground turkey, let's season it. A little salt, a little pepper. Now, if you know when you make ground turkey, it usually sticks to your hands. It's a little bit uh, more difficult to work with than making ground beef patty. So we like to do binding. We want to add an egg. Um, you, can, you don't have to add an egg. I just like to add it in for a little bit more richness. And also, a lot of times when you cook turkey, people always say, oh, how do you keep it so moist and not dry out? Well, my famous turkey burgers, they're always uh, nice and tender. And I add a little bit of the Japanese panko breadcrumbs, just about a tablespoon or so um, per pound, just to uh, give it some moisture when you, we cook it and it doesn't dry out in the oven, which is great, or on the grill. Um, secret ingredient. That is your mustard. Uh, I love to use this in all my vinaigrettes and seasoning meats and, and dressings, but this gives it a lot of richness as well and some acidity when you're uh, seasoning the ground turkey. So herbs, aromatics. I'm big with aromatics. We have some cilantro. You can use basil, mint. Um, I don't. It doesn't matter what you use. I just love to add some uh, flavor. And also, I'm not a big fan of using ground onion or ground farm. Uh, ground um, uh, onion powder or so I like to use fresh aromatics so we just take a nice fine cut through some green onions which a lot smoother and they're not as harsh as a raw onion more subtle in flavor so we just add about a tablespoon 
and to our turkey. What else do we have here? The two seasonings that I do like to use, a little smoked paprika. This takes it up a little bit notch. Just a teaspoon. Just a little, a little bit fire and smoky smoke flavor. Meat. Since we're going to be doing pan searing these today and not on the barbecue. Since we just had a hurricane in South Florida. So we're going to do it in a stove. Uh, and a ground ginger. I'm big into um, Caribbean and South American flavors. So ground ginger, a little paprika. And that's it. Um, what else? We're good. So putting this top on, hopefully we have a nice quick blend. I just want to bolt it. And that's it. So you can see that. That looks like a very fancy food process, though. This is my uh, super duper Gravel, chef's favorite. I always tell people at home, what gadgets do you need? You only need three in the kitchen. You need a Vitamix, bar blender, a food processor, and if you're doing a stand mixer to bake, um, those are my three go-tos. You don't really need much of the gadgets. Um, so let's take our ground turkey out of the food processor. Nice and incorporated all that flavors salt and pepper. So when we're ready to make our patties, we're going to turn on the stove as we're preheat this. Now it's sticky to the, the touch, but it's also moist. We don't want to over put breadcrumbs or so then it'll dry it out. So we just take the clean hands, about a four inch patty. You can always eat more, but I hate the way so. And it's super moist, nice and seasoned. And we're going to put this on a parchment paper. There we go. We'll season a couple of them. And I'm sorry, did you miss, did I miss something? Um, you said it was super moist. Did you add something into it to keep that moisture? Well, we put an egg. We also bind it with breadcrumbs, so that panko breadcrumbs, which you know are my favorite. So it's almost like a turkey meatloaf. But I find adding these kind of binders in there keeps it moist and it doesn't dry out because overcooking turkey or um, patties, then it'll get dried out. So we like to keep a nice, moist turkey burger. Also, my opinion, cooks faster. So that's it. Couple patties, wash the hands. And Chef Paul, one thing I'll add is that I actually yeah. have made um, uh, burgers and because I'm gluten free, there are yeah. also gluten free breadcrumbs just in case anyone else out there has that gluten sensitivity. You can do this also with gluten free breadcrumbs. Yes, these are uh, gluten free, this bread in particular brand. And you can find it at your, any grocery store, um, but you gotta look for the label to be gluten free. Um, and that's a nice healthier option. So in the pan, you want to get a nice hot pan. You can use olive oil. We can be healthy and use a little olive oil spray. You want to take it off the fire if you're using a gas grill. Just, Just a nice, nice spray. spray. And cold pan. I love using nonstick pans, so we don't have to worry about it sticking. Are there any right. gas grills in Florida? I thought they were all electric. <laughs> <laughs> Not, Not an old Michael game. game. They're uh, we have nice high tech gas grills so, and induction burgers. Have you ever worked on an induction burger uh, oven before that? I don't think so. So they boil water in like ninety seconds. So they're a chef's dream, and also for cleanup, there's no mess. You just wipe down it, and they're done. Wow. And they're kick friendly as well, since uh, they don't they turn off if a pot uh, moves aside. So it's free. Oh, I'm starting to hear a little bit of a sizzle. That sounds good. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. All right. So they don't think now. Now, another trick I like to do in advance is to mark both sides, and add them one in a minute. And then we're, before we put it in the oven, we're going to wrap these turkey burgers with turkey bacon. So we have a, a double turkey action today. Okay. And this turkey bacon is already pre cooked, um, and it is. It's ready to go, so I just crisp it up in the oven, but we're going to wrap it on. So we're going to wrap that up in a second. All right. You can see overhead as we're going. You can always add a little bit more flavor to the pan. Now, while that's working, we're going to make our dressing. 
We're going to do a little cilantro aioli today. Okay, this is one of my favorite go-tos. We're also using soy-free vegan mayonnaise. Another fancy word for aioli is mayonnaise, but um, you can make your own. And a bowl, quick little sauce to go with our burger. A nice tablespoon of vegan soy-free mayonnaise. Okay, we season this as well with salt, a little pepper, and then we're gonna taste some of our cilantro. We're gonna ball oh, it up into- Oh, food of the gods, I love cilantro. That's it, cilantro. <laughs> ball it up like that in a little ball. You just wanna run your knife through it very easily. You don't, you don't want to bruise this cilantro, so just a nice rough chop. Look at that, right into the, the bowl. And then you add a little acid. So we just take a little bit of lemon, and we just squeeze it in there like that. We give it a toss through, and that's it. Could it be more easier, right? A little cilantro aioli for our, our bird. Okay, these are ready to turn. Look at that. Nice, nice color. color. See that brown on there? Yes, it looks perfect. So, didn't stick. Super easy. Now, you're cooking both sides, you're searing them, so they're going to start the cooking process. But right before we throw them in a 400 degree preheated oven, we're going to wrap them with the turkey burger or with the turkey bacon. Excuse me. Look at that. That's Any questions coming in here, Yvette? Well, we've got uh, some comments that are coming in. We've got Sandy S. who's on YouTube, and she's already said thank you, and you're not even done yet. Um, so <laughs> thank you, Sandy, for watching. And we've got Marjorie Bell, who says she's glad to be here. She can't wait to see this. Although she did just add there's a little bit of feedback in the microphone still. Um so I don't know if there's any way to adjust a little bit the volume and the sound on your end. And then we've got Miss Leona Schuler, who's uh, a volunteer with AARP. She's been one of your faithful uh, favorites who have been coming on every week to cook with you. Um, and she's cooking that right now in her kitchen. She was uh, getting the ingredients all together this weekend. And then beautiful, we've also beautiful. got Miss Kathy, Kathy, who also is one of your uh, followers. She's been, I think, on almost every single cooking show we did. And she says she loves cilantro, too, but she kills it each time she tries to grow it. I just said that in one of the other cooking shows. I've tried three Don't times this year. Word. I'm having and, difficulties at home, too. I'm always going through herb gardens, but um, just yeah, alone. I, Water very sparingly. Um, basil is the only one that needs more watering, but uh, the rest of them don't over water, and that's usually what kills your, your herbs at home. So there's another free trick. Okay, thank you. All right. So check, check this out. These aren't cooked through, but that's what we want. We want to put them back on the cutting board. They've been marked on both sides. Now, this just sears in the flavor of these burgers, just like this. And here's where the mag happens. We just wrap. This it's turkey burger, just like, like that, that, with the turkey bacon. And then we put them onto a uh, parchment paper baking sheet pan. Now, you could do this in advance, but I like, I like to, once you start cooking, I don't like to put it, uh, I like to cook them all the way through. We don't want the, pro the, the poultry to be undercooked and then cook it through. This is just uh, safety. So there you go. They're all wrapped, just, just like, like so. And you're going to put them into that 400 degree oven. Gorgeous. Now, I would say for a four ounce patty, another six to eight minutes cooked through. Other uh, trick is you don't want to overcook this turkey, so if it's undercooked, you can always put it back in. But, you know, as a chef, we want it to be perfectly, so you can always cook it more, but you can't undercook something once it's well, well overdue, as we call it. So, um, bird buns, we can do different options, brioche bun. This one's a whole, uh, whole wheat bun. Um, they also have uh, gluten free. Um, different types of bread you can use if you don't want to use the carbs. Um, but I like this whole uh, whole wheat um, bun that works well. Also, we want to toast these. So we're going to put them onto a pan just, just back in the oven. oven. Just now, did you up. put did you put any pan on the, on the stove top for the buns or no? Sorry, say that one more time of that. 
Did you use any uh, anything to kind of grease the pan for the buns or? I'm a one-stop shop. I like to put it right in the pan. I mean, sometimes I just put it right in the oven without a, without a rack, but, and then I take my asbestos pan, you know, chef 20 year hands and I remove the bun without a towel. So, um, but I don't recommend that at home. This is just um, years of uh, touching hot pans. And, uh, but yeah, just a nice quick toast. Having a nice crisp uh, toast is just a better uh, flavor profile in my, uh, in my opinion. Also, when we put our nice cilantro aioli on the bun, um, it'll be nice for, uh, for a little bit of a crunch with that moist turkey burger. So, um, and then condiments, while that's cooking, we take our prep, a little heirloom tomato, super nice and easy, which in South Florida, they're super ripe right now. A nice sharp knife. All right. You can take some red onion or in this case, uh, some shallot, slice very thin. All right. And I love using dip lettuce. You can use romaine, iceberg. This is one of my favorites, soft and Della. It's a butter green or a Boston dip lettuce. Super nice to go with uh, your turkey burger. And then the avocado. This is a nice firm avocado. You always wanna feel. People always say, how do you choose in a store which one's the ripest one you can smell the ends but um firm to the touch but a little bit of softness so um, it's a nice perfect one for for garnishing uh this turkey burger so nice healthy alternatives when you come to the uh garnishing your burger um, I, think I used to grow up eating cheeseburger stuff but with with uh, dairy being super high in choleric um you know, in, in fact, I try to stay away dairy. from dairy and add veggies and nice, nice um, um, substitutes to garnishing the burger because, because um, cheese is super high in fat and um, you can use a substitute cheese like a, a vegan or a, a soy based uh, cheese. But today we're, we're going to be cheeseless and we're going to even, the burger is going to speak for itself since it's so moist. So, all right, let me take these buns out. Don't worry about it. I'll use a, a towel for you so I don't burn my hands. <laughs> Excellent. All right, and then get some burgers that we're cooking about five minutes ago. Oh, they look amazing. And I have to Slide say, I love all the colors and the vegetables and the reds yeah, I mean, and the greens. With their eyes, right? So you want to have nice rainbow medley of colors and everything healthy. And there's always, again, no rules to this. That's why I like to show out um, options. You can always add or substitute or take away, depending on everyone's preferences are different. So we like to give choice in your life. So look at this. All right. So let's take one of our toasted buns, a little bit of our cilantro aioli, just to the bottom. Hey, I think Coco's making an appearance. Hey, Coco. Coco's in the kitchen. She's starting to smell that yumminess. She's right, wanting to take bit. a little bit of that turkey burger. I don't blame her. She thought we're doing dog food uh, this episode. That's she's waiting for the next episode for. Our... <laughs> so look at this. That bit of lettuce right on there. One of our tomatoes. I also like to season the tomatoes. They bring out that nice sweetness once you start salting the tomato. Beautiful. Some of our shallots or red onion. All right. One of our, look at that, turkey burgers. A little bit more of the cilantro aioli. Look at that. Wonderful. Can we flip it? And we'll put it like this. Now a side dish. Put some sweet potato fries. Here's another healthy. Little sweet potato fries that I baked a little bit ago. And there you have it. Well, doesn't that look I gorgeous? Mean, was that easy or was that easy? Uh, it looked pretty good and easy. And who knows? <laughs> I, I might even be able to do it. <laughs> wow, that looks awesome. So hey, listen, options. how did you get the waffle shape? How do you get the waffle shape in the in the sweet potatoes. Um, you can buy them in Whole Foods in the freezer section. Um, I could usually mandolin and you, you can do a waffle cut on an on a, uh, Asian mandolin. Um, and you have um, on Amazon, you can 
take a waffle cutter and um, and make them yourself. But the best ones are in the frozen section at Whole Foods. I believe the brand's called uh, Alexis. Um, and they make all different varieties of sweet potato fries and hash browns. But I love to put a little sweet potato to uh, counter uh, contrast with the turkey burger. Um, keeps it super healthy. Or you could just do a nice green uh, salad. And there you go. I mean, Wonderful. I'd, I'd bite into this, but I don't want to make you jealous uh, of that. So we're going to, we're going to have to share Listen, another time. I've got, I've got a couple of comments coming in with all these folks saying that they're hungry. <laughs> uh, Maggie Castro watching all the way from New York. One of my buddies. Yes. Thank you for joining. She Hi, says Maggie. she's hungry. <laughs> um, and we've got uh, Kathy who said she's going to try planting the cilantro again. Kathy, me too. I, you know, I'm going to keep on trying until I get some cilantro growing in my patio. And A. Pope, who's watching on YouTube, says, this is great to watch on my smart TV. Comes through clear and large, better than the laptop and the smartphone I've been watching it on. So hooray for smart TV. He figured yeah. out how to do it. That's awesome. Uh, Marjorie Bell says it looks wonderful. Now she's hungry. So I don't know. Maybe you're going to have to do some home deliveries, Chef Paul. FedEx. We're going to have to do some FedEx here <laughs> in a little bit. Although we did get a question from um, A. Pope. Uh, he, he asked if there was any oil or butter. So I'm not sure at what part of the recipe he was asking this question. Um, but um, No butter. Um, we did use a little bit of the nonstick sp uh, spray in the, the pan in the, uh, in the pan. And you can do a little olive oil if you want to make it a little more rich when you're making um, in the food processor the, the ground turkey. Um, and you can also take out the egg if you don't want to use that, but you need some fat because it's 99% lean ground, uh, ground turkey. So we need to add some flavor and, and good fat, whether it's the avocado at the end or in the beginning with a little bit of um, 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 olive oil, just a tablespoon, just to give it some nice richness. Excellent. Um, Kathy Rocco says her husky Cato loves Miss Coco. Oh, so we're getting all sorts of puppy love. Oh. Um, <laughs> And Leona mentioned that she is not an avocado lover, but for this recipe, just for you, Chef Paul, she got avocado mash. Um, and she said, can you mix that, something that's already kind of already mashed, I guess, already like oh. into uh, guacamole? Can you mix it of in with course. aioli? Of, of course, leftover guacamole on uh, turkey burgers are great, right on the bun. You don't even need the cilantro aioli. You can put that guacamole on the bun and that gives it some amazing creaminess and some texture um, to the bun and to the burger. And then another substitute, if you don't want an avocado for those out there, uh, green apple. This is a very traditional or classic recipe when you chop green apple and you can put it into the, the mix of the burger or just a couple slices to go on the side. Uh, ground uh, turkey burger and green apple is a great combination with that bite, some nice freshness. Oh, wow. So that's yeah. definitely a cool thing to try with the uh, green apple. You know, I've yes. often put green apple into my potato salad, and I always say that's my little secret. Um, oh, you're uh, giving who, away your tricks. I know. My tricks of the trade. I'm giving them away right here, all on Facebook and YouTube. And then <laughs> Miss, oh, Miss A. Pope, because I can't see your first name, but she identified herself as Miss. She asked, I think the, her question was specifically whether there's any butter or oil that you use for the buns when you were baking the buns? No, nothing. I put it right into the hot pan, even the pan that I cooked it in, um, or on the sheet pan right in the oven, just because I want to toast it up. We're going to add the fats from the aioli, and I don't want to add extra butter or fats on there um, because we use this uh, vegan mayonnaise for, for the dressing, so you don't want it too rich, especially gotcha. if you're using like a brioche bun or something like that. It's already got tons of butter in a brioche bun, but we're using a whole wheat bun today, so um, we want to minimize our fats, trying to keep it healthy. Awesome. And Miss Pope just said the apple sounds great. I agree. I actually want to try that. Green apples are my favorite. So anytime I can add that into a, one of my meals, it's a good thing. So right, right. Um, I want to give anybody else who may be watching on YouTube or Facebook a chance to chime in because we're kind of coming into the end of the program for today. And it is indeed bittersweet. This has been so much fun cooking with Chef Paul. Um, we did a four part series. This is the last one. And Chef, it has just been so cool and awesome. And thank you. Educational and fun to be cooking along with you and learning all these nice little tricks and tips of the trade. So thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us. Welcome. Thank you for everyone. And always ask questions. If they ever have any questions, I'm always available on my Instagram.
Instagram, and I always respond with recipes and uh, and blogs and videos, so you can always uh, keep updated on my my IG. Chef, tell us what's your Instagram. It's just my name, Chef Paul Aceto, at um, and Instagram. So Chef Paul Aceto. Um, and on Facebook is my company, Silver Spoon Events, which we do is the catering side. So, um, and we come in and we do cooking schools as well in people's houses and we travel. And um, especially now um, with the pandemic, we're just uh, doing a lot of delivery meals because it's it's tough situation with restaurants right now. So people prefer to eat in their homes and parties of less than six or you know less, we're doing small, small scale events um, with all the necessary precautions in place. All right. Well, that's good to hear. And so I encourage everyone to follow AERP Florida on Facebook. Uh, we have um, a Twitter handle and also a social media handle. You'll see it kind of scrolling down at the bottom of your screen. And everybody go on Instagram and follow Chef Paul on Instagram. I follow him and see all his lovely uh, recipes when he's not working with you with uh, AERP. Um, so I say goodbye to everyone and say during this pandemic please keep yourselves and your families um healthy of mind body and spirit we uh invite you to look on aarp florida we actually just started a daily exercise program that's coming on with tai chi and with uh chair aerobics or standing aerobics so there's lots of different programs and services if you're interested and we invite you all to participate thank you all for joining and we'll see you next time thanks chef paul thank you guys be good